Hello everybody, come on in, come on in folks. That's normal. Mm. Hello everybody. Come on in. I'm gonna give it a minute for everyone to come in. How's everybody doing tonight? Oh no, that's bad. Anyways, everybody here, maybe I should turn it around. I'm gonna turn it around because you can't see nothing here. It's really dark, here we go. So, I haven't been out there in a couple days and done updates but I wanted to come on because I saw something on channel 17 with Perla the reporter where the chief the chief has given both Perla and Bayon at channel 23 channel 17 and channel 23 he has given them interviews given them updates we have called we've called 40 or 50 times to that station and there is one day that we got an update. And that day was the date that they boarded up the house. Okay. It was a 4 minute and 21 second phone call. The dispatcher, I asked her who boarded up the house. Was it the West family, the owners of the property, or was it... Cal City PD. She told me, hold on, she was going to go confirm with the chief or his secretary. Well, she came back on approximately a minute and a half, two minutes later, and what she was doing was she came on and I asked her, I said, so can you confirm who boarded it up? She told me straight up that it was Cal City PD, the chief had ordered it. And I asked her three times the same question to confirm. And all three times she said it was Cal City PD that had it boarded up. Well, when the chief did his interview the other night, he stated it was the West family. And if you watch the video, you'll notice he chuckles about it when he states that it was the West family and that there's rumors. Well, if it's a rumor, it's because that's the information that was given from his office. So, that rumor would be started by Cal City PD then because they are the ones that confirm with me on that date. I think it was at 2.57 or something like that. I would have to check, but I have it time stamped on my phone for the conversation. I wish I would have recorded the conversation, but I did not. But they confirmed that it was Cal City PD. And now, when he does the interview with Perla, he laughs about it and states, oh, no, it wasn't. It was the parents. So that's a question I have for them. Who really did it? And if the West family did do it, why did Cal City PD tell us as a news entity that Cal City PD did it? That's one question. The next question I have, when is the last time those boys were seen in a video, in a photo that's time stamped by the parents, by one of their phones, by a video, or anything like that? You know, what... We need facts. You know, I go by facts. That's why when we do lives, there's not much to give because they're not giving all the information to other entities out of their area. But I am going out there tomorrow and I have questions I would like to have answered. I know and I understand what he said. One thing I do understand that he said 100% is he said, these are his words, 
they pulled evidence out of that house that is still being processed. It has not been completed yet. That I understand. I understand evidence has to be processed. Go park. It's okay. I do understand evidence having to be processed. But my question is the same thing. Where are the boys? What happened to the boys? When was the last time the boys were seen? Is there any time stamp photos in either one of the parents or any of the relatives' phones showing? Is it true that the last time they were seen was November on Thanksgiving Day in a video call by somebody? But that's unconfirmed because the family won't confirm it. And I do take this personal. And I also have a lot of people out there that are making a lot of statements that aren't true. People are saying I'm out here doing this for the money. Well, I'm not making money off of it. It costs me money. The reason I'm doing it, there's a few reasons. One, I'm a foster parent. Number two, I'm an ordained minister out of Texas City, Texas. Number three, if it was one of my children, I would want to know where they are and what happened to them. No matter what, even though the bio parent lost her rights to those kids, that doesn't mean she should not care. She does care. And that's a fact. You know, another thing I want to know, you know, how the process was that actually went through with these children. Was it a run through? Or, you know, it's just, there's so many, so many things that just are not right in this case. We need facts, you know, we need to find out what's going on. Where are these boys at? Who did what to these boys? Who's responsible for it? You know? And one thing, at one point I was contacted through my company by Jamal Watkins. Because there were so many threats made against the family, the extended family, etc. That is a true fact. I was contacted through my company in regards to that because it was presumed that it was our fault that people were contacting them making threats. No, I do not condone threats. I do not. I want the truth. I want the facts. Your head? You want to go get a bull? Okay, so that right there, people, is what's really going on, and whew, I know there's a candlelight vigil coming up, I think, on the 25th. There's so many rumors that go around. You know, I don't work off rumors. I can't go off rumors because I am a news entity. We are a newspaper. I'm not going to go off of what somebody says. I can't. But I mean, yeah, and that is another question too. When is the last time that a state worker of any type checked on those boys? If they were adopted, 
they should still have to do a check. I think it's for the first year or two years or something like that after adoption. And if not, it needs a change. But everybody, I will be out there tomorrow. Like everybody else, where are the boys? What happened to the boys? When did it happen to the boys? Where are timestamp videos or pictures showing when the boys were last alive? That's it. And I've been contacted by so many other people about missing people that I will be getting in contact with all the other families in regards to the missing people that are contacting us. Everybody, have a blessed night. God bless you all. We will be talking to you all soon.